Alright, so, before I start with my video, I gotta give props to Lane Staley and Kurt Cobain. Because this is April 5th, 2012, and it's been 10 years since my man, my inspiration for being a heavy metal musician, Lane Staley, passed away. And it's been 18 years since... Kurt Cobain, who I also owe a lot of respect to and appreciation to, also passed away. <sighs> so I just gotta give props to them. You know, they've made some great music. My favorites, I can't even name you my favorite song from Alice in Chains, I've heard all of them. And I can't wait for that motherfucking fifth album. And as for Nirvana, well, that was a great band. I never really got into Foo Fighters, which Dave Grawl started after Nirvana ended, but whatever. Some things just happen. All that dramatic bullshit aside about Lane and Cobain and all those rocking ass niggas, because there will be a time and place for me to talk about that shit. We gotta speak about statism as a commonwealth for a fantasy structure. And how it fucks up with government. Well, considering that government could just be an institution that provides services, how will it do this without a commonwealth? What are some ways it can you know, build the money without the need of a fantasy structure commonwealth? It can do this with a corporate system or a free market system. Those are just the two, the, the good, bad, and ugly. Now, by the corporate system, since you already got an idea of how a free market system for a government would work, it basically, we'll move on to that later, hold on. For a corporate system, I would assume that there would be a bunch of shareholders that would come together to pay for a service pulled together from several different companies. For example, legal system or the building of roads, and they would use the government for that responsibility or pull together their money in terms of shares. And of course, you'd have Whoever is in charge of that government be the CEO, do CEO shit, and a board of directors. And with that, we could assume that the system would be fine if it was large scaled. On small scaled governments, that would be way too inconvenient, of course, which is where we bring the free market possibility where. As I say, for courts, every time someone tries to file for a lawsuit or build some limited form of intellectual property or claim, they'll have to you know, pay something and then they'll earn the property rights. Or if you're trying to sue a nigga for something that happens, they'll have to pay a small amount of money for that, especially pay for a lawyer. And the other guy doesn't have a lawyer, and you gotta pay for that guy because you're about to sue that nigga. But that might not be a good idea in some ways. It might limit, it might limit the sue crazy society the United States is where we'll sue for anything, even if it's not anybody's fault. But, that's sort of what, that's how things work sometimes. Or the building of a road system, some companies that will be in charge of the tolling, like how in some times you gotta cross the bridge and you gotta pay for a toll in order to regulate traffic. They might work together with government 
and that's the way it work. A portion of what they pay for goes to the government, so one's taking a slice of money from the other, and they're both making profit. That's some alternatives I see. If you believe that there's some other alternatives, maybe for some socialist thinkers, then be sure to tell me, because this is one of those things that you got to think about. Now I'm going to come into the subject of post-anarchist subjects or theories or things that we got to worry about. For the United States, one big thing we got to worry about is the fact that we operate under a fiat currency. So if the United States were to become stateless or whatever, then where would we obtain the currency to basically have our needs met? Because I understand that there's this giant little Federal Reserve building not very far from where I live, but when you get all that gold and resources that are hard to waste, what are how are we going to divide it up? What are we going to do? How are we going to organize ourselves? It'd be a giant colossal disaster. And what about corporations that we basically depend upon for now? Most of them depend on subsidies, and when that money collapses, they'll have to obtain subsidies. They can't obtain subsidies because they can't even obtain that money. It means nothing once that government collapses. There are a few situations and solutions where we'll have a temporary resolvement while we make the transition to statelessness. Since currencies probably one of the more one of the more gigantic things currency I would say aside from government itself what we'll have to depend upon is the idea that banks will start using other currency and that they have a good supply of foreign foreign exchange money from different nations that do have some strong value to them. It's not like Greece or anything that's about to collapse as well. So you've got to put that into account. As for a legal system, well, I could start saying polycentric law since that's something I enjoy saying. But. That's also going to be another issue post statism, post whatever. So let me know what you think about that.